All right, what's going on, guys? It is your boy TKD123 here, back again here on PlayStation Source. And of course, a new month brings not only your rent, yes, your rent is due, that means you also get a new batch of PlayStation Now games added to the service. Now, I know I was a little bit critical of PS Now this month. I do, I do know that. Y'all, y'all, y'all remember when Dina told Ellie that they should be terrified of her? Hello? Hello? Is this game okay? How does the game, fr we're streaming this game on the server. How does that happen, Sway? Let's still go over the brand new games that'll be coming to the service in March 2021 to PS Now. Starting off here, we have a game here that is tied to a movie, but I did actually hear that it was pretty good overall. That is, of course, World War Z. As humanity stands on the brink of extinction, a hardened few band together to defeat the undead masses, threatening our way of life. Take on huge zombie swarms in story-driven campaigns, set in the same world as the hit film, playable in online co-op for up to four players. You can also choose to fight other players for survival in a range of intense player versus player versus zombies game modes. So honestly, this game came out and I wasn't really looking too much for it, but I do know that a lot of people actually really do like the game's uh, you know, co-op and the game's multiplayer. Apparently that plays really well and everything. But I do recall that this game, um, I believe the developers behind this game did pitch a multiplayer experience for days gone but they eventually got turned down by sony bend and did their own thing with world war z so pretty cool if you want to see you know what could have been days gone multiplayer it was and it is here in this game world war z it did garner a 67 on metacritic so not the best metacritic score but i do hear that the game was a ton of fun from other people that have played it so definitely i say you know why not you know worth a shot and uh definitely be aware that although it is on ps now right now in march it will only be available until september 6 2021 so a few months there to get in your world war z playtime in and uh i'm probably gonna check it out maybe i will maybe i won't who knows we'll see but definitely i feel like this game is at least worth your time next up here i do recognize that this game is a very very big franchise i've just never played it it is called ace combat 7 skies unknown strap yourself into the cockpit of some of the world's most formidable fighter planes and skim through the clouds engaging in daring aerial stunts and nerve-shedding tactical dogfights. Immerse yourself in a unique alternate reality where real-world, current, and near-future military hardware meet. Choose from an array of authentic, modern, and futuristic aircraft and load them up with an arsenal of cutting-edge super weapons as unfolding events drive you into ever more dangerous aerial face-offs. Ace Combat 7 also includes exclusive PSVR compatible missions to create a new level of death-defying immersion. So yes, this does include PSVR mode, so if you have PSVR, are, definitely go check it out and uh, ultimately you know honestly i think that this game just came out and not a ton of buzz was around it but i do feel that those that are very much in two aerial combat games and those into dog fighting games uh definitely found this game to be up their alley and definitely worth their while because the metacritic is at an 80 right now so definitely ended up being a good game overall all things considered and i definitely feel like if you have a psvr why not check out those missions you know why not check them out i'm sure they're good and uh, you can check it out for yourself here in March of 2021, but you do have a limited time as this game will only be available until May 31st. So definitely a shorter amount of time there. So uh, definitely check it out in PlayStation Now for March 2021. Next up here, this one is a part of a franchise I love and adore, but I don't love and adore this game quite much, Infamous Second Son. From the creator of Ghost of Tsushima comes a super-powered action adventure set in modern-day America. Delson Rose's superhuman powers is in your hands. Push your awesome abilities to the limits and see how your choices affect the city of Seattle and the people around you. Hijack the powers of other superhumans, soar across the Seattle skyline, and choose your own story and how it all plays out. So this was one of the early PS4 games that came out about six months after the console released. And overall, it is a very, very, very pretty game. It's a very aesthetic pleasing game, a lot of cool colors in there. Definitely technically impressive for sure from the tech side, but just overall, like as an installment in the Infamous series, it did not really light the world on fire from the Infamous fan base. You know, we definitely do miss Cole McGrath. We miss all the homies from the OG infamous games but nonetheless i still do think it's a good game just not as good as infamous 1 and 2 and that metacritic is on the 80 percent as well so a pretty good metacritic overall but uh definitely 
need to know, I would recommend you guys check it out for sure. If you're fans of the old games as well, definitely check it out, but definitely wasn't feeling it as much as the first Infamous games. Last up here, now this game is, I believe, traditionally a VR game, right? Like, that's how I know this game, but I guess this game also got a regular release, um, Super Hot, and this is not to be confused with Super Hot VR, I guess, but blurring the lines between Cautious Strategy and Unbridled Mayhem, Super Hot is the FPS in which time moves only when you move. No regenerating health bars, no conveniently placed ammo drops, it's just you, outnumbered, and outgunned. Grabbing the weapons of falling enemies to shoot, slice, and maneuver through a hurricane of slow motion bullets. And so, this again, just to reiterate, I'm pretty sure is not the VR version of this game, which I did not know that this game got a regular version, uh, like in a regular traditional sense of a game. Did not know it got that treatment, but I'm definitely interested now to play this if it is uh, not requiring PSVR. But it did garner an 83 on Metacritic, so definitely pretty good because ultimately PSVR, super high VR a lot of people love that game it's a great thing and uh, I'm excited if this is going to be just a regular game if this does end up being the VR version I'm sorry it says super hot and I know there's a super hot VR and there's a regular super hot so I have to assume that regular super hot does not have VR but if I'm wrong I'm sorry guys but uh, definitely let me know how you guys feel about super hot on PS now in the month of March 2021 so that is just about it guys those have been the new games that were added to to PS Now for the month of March 2021. Just to go over them one more time, you will be getting access to World War Z, Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown, Infamous Second Son, and of course, Super High. Make sure down below, let me know what you guys feel about these games. Do you like this month? Do you hate this month? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And make sure also, while you are down there, you can check out our description where you can find links to our Discord, our Twitter, and our Anchor link that will you can listen to our long-form content and podcast. Remember those, of course, being the Road 2 series and Saves Lot podcast as well a lot of people enjoyed it as well as hit subscribe to playstation stores to keep up with the latest and greatest in playstation thank you all for watching and as always greatness awaits